I'm Phoebe, and today I'm here with my lab partner, Luke, and we're going to be explaining osmosis and diffusion. Mr. Stroud, can you tell us what you know about osmosis and diffusion? <laughs> Osmosis is when everyone in my classroom knows what to do without me having to say anything. <laughs> Diffusion is what happens every day in my classroom. <laughs> oh, you mean like scientifically? Uh, no, I think it has something to do with water. Yes, yes, it has something. It has something to do with water. Okay. what do you know about osmosis and diffusion? Osmosis is when you have a huge test, so you sleep with your book, with your textbook under your pillow, and let the knowledge seep into your brain. Diffusion is when you go and share your knowledge with your friends, so they can pass the test. Yep. This is a demonstration of diffusion. Yes, it is. So, when I take the food coloring and I drop it into the water, it is at a higher concentration. But quickly, it diffuses into the water and at a lower concentration. When it is completely mixed in with the water, it is at equilibrium. Another simple experiment to do is get some clear gelatin and remove three little pluggy thingies with a straw. That work okay. And when it's solid, yes, remove some of the gelatin. And then in the plugs you can drop in some food coloring. Excuse me. One drop. Over time, it will diffuse into the gelatin with the other colors as well. This is a demonstration of osmosis. Candy and science. What could be better? Our gummy bear acts as the cell. When put in water, the gummy bear will act like a semi-permeable membrane. The gummy bear will stay still. And the water will go, and through osmosis, it will diffuse across the semi-permeable membrane until there is an equal amount of water inside and outside of the gummy bear. Candy and science. What could be better? These are the gummy bears that we made right now. These are the ones that we made this morning. And these ones we made yesterday. As you can see, the water has uh, diffused inside of the gummy bear, and there is now an equal amount of water inside and outside of the gummy bear. This is the experiment we just made. This is the same one after six hours that we made this morning. And this one is one that has been sitting overnight, as you can see, the food dye is still diffusing into the gelatin.